Oh, I saw this recent unreleased interview of Nicki Minaj where she said something very interesting. You can get to the top. It takes one record. You know what I'm saying? It takes one stroke of luck, one stroke of genius, one stroke of fortune. You know what I'm saying? Staying there? Oh, no, that's a different story. But that was not what caught my attention. It was this one that made me come to a realization. Listen to it. Able to reinvent yourself while, and this is the key. How do you reinvent while staying authentically the same? You, right? Because the fans love you for who they first met. 15 years ago, 12, 10 years ago, whatever it was. So they want to know that that girl is still in here, but they also want to be surprised and, and, and entertained every time, you know? Um, you have to change even, you know, sonically change with the times. You know what I'm saying? What's on the radio? How do I, how do I stay on trend without jumping on bandwagons? Oh my God, you already know. You already know. That's why people don't have those kinds of friends because it's difficult, you know, and you can't rely on a manager to to figure it out for you you have to know how do you reinvent yourself while staying authentically you when i had that i thought of so many things as it relates to me my brand my clients and even Nicki minaj herself and one of these thoughts during my reflections was if i were to help launch a brand for Nicki minaj that will help her reinvent herself whilst also staying authentic what will it be I know she has the Pink Friday nails. I know she has the sneakers. I've even done a critical launch analysis of that in this channel. So what I'll do is I'll put that in the description box so that you can go and watch that. But I'm talking about future brands. So here's what I came up with. And I want you to let me know what you think. If I were to launch a brand for Nicki Minaj, it would be a book. Don't log off yet. Hear me out. The book will not be any type of book it will be strategic in our execution. We will be strategic. Here's what I mean. So firstly, the book will be named after her first album. And the reason for that is because one, when we are selling it, we will bundle it with a playlist. We will bundle it with that album. So she will get the sales for the book. She will also get the streams for that album. But then number two, we can continue the book as a series because we can cover each of her past albums and we can also cover the future ones. So this is something that she can make money on as long as, as she wants. But then the book will also be an autobiography, but with a twist. I'm sure you're wondering, okay, what will the book be about? Here's what I mean. So the book will follow the track list of the album and it will flesh out each song. So let's say, for example, is Pink Friday. So it will flesh out, I'm the best. But then what it will do is it will go in more detail while skipping the focus on three things. So number one, where was she in life when she recorded each song? Like, and for today, the age and, you know, generation that we are in right now, what would she reinvent on each song if she were to? Would she change anything? And then the final one will be where she is in life today as it regards to the theme of that song. So whatever she was talking about in that song, does she feel the same way about those things anymore? Or has she, you know, evolved from that? What are her current thoughts about, you know, those things in those songs? So, you know, with this whole thing, this way she can reinvent herself whilst also weaving in her past, her present and then her future. Why did I say present? Her present and in the future. What do you guys think? Let's discuss in the comment. Let me know what you think about this. You can get to the top. It takes one record. You know what I'm saying? It takes one stroke of luck, one stroke of genius, one stroke of fortune. You know what I'm saying? Staying there? Oh, no, that's a different story, child. That's a different story. Being able to reinvent yourself while, and this is the key, how do you reinvent while staying authentically the same? You, right? Because the fans love you for who they first met 15 years ago, 12, 10 years ago, whatever it was. So they want to know that that girl is still in here, but they also want to be surprised and, and, and entertained every time, you know? Um, you have to change even, you know, sonically change with the times. You know what I'm saying? What's on the radio? How do I how do I stay on trend without jumping on bandwagons? 
Oh my God, you already know. You already know. That's why people don't have those kinds of friends because it's difficult, you know, and you can't rely on a manager to, to figure it out for you. You have to know who you are so that no matter who you are under, what umbrella you're under, you're able to kick in the fucking door. You know what I'm saying?